As being a veteran yourself, you know, why is it so critical for Maryland? And what are you doing here today to support that vision? Yeah, I mean, uh, veterans' issues are, are personal to me. You know, I'm a veteran myself. I'm part of a, a military veteran family. Uh, I deployed with the 82nd Airborne Division, uh, and it was some of the proudest moments of my life. But I also know that we haven't always treated veterans or veterans' families with the respect and the admiration that they deserve. And so we just knew in our administration we were going to do different. And so we passed legislation that focused on things like making sure that the spouses of veterans actually had a chance to be hired and gainfully employed. We did things like making Maryland the first state in this country that now has a pathway for free dental care and health care for members of our National Guard. You know, we are a state that actually turned the Department of Veterans Affairs into the Department of Veterans Affairs and military families. So we want to make Maryland the best place in the country for military families, and I'm really proud of the progress we've made so far to make that happen. That's amazing. Thank you. And of course, well, Charles County. What's you and Charles County, tell us yeah. the relationship. I love getting back to Charles County. I mean, Charles County was one of the first places that we came to when we were campaigning. And people were like, you spent a whole lot of time down here. And I said, get used to it, because I'm going to do that when I'm governor. And I'm proud that we continue to do that. I love the work that's taking place in Charles County. I love the momentum we're seeing just in Southern Maryland as a whole. I believe that if this is going to be Maryland's decade, that we have to make sure that Southern Maryland is also taking the rightful leadership role. And so we're going to make that happen. You heard it, folks, right here on World of Live with Governor Moore. Thank you.